What's up guys, welcome to the channel. On today's video, we are starting the budget off-road speed build. Now, I know you're looking at the table thinking, that is not a budget build, Phil. Well, I will tell you in a minute why I'm calling this a budget off-road speed build. Let's talk about what we've got here and what we're gonna do, uh, and then we'll crack on with the build. I'll tell you everything you see on here, there's links for it in the description. We're gonna talk about what I'm doing, what I've got, um, and where we're going with it. So we'll start off, that servo is about $12. The ESC is about $40. The motor, I think, was $20 or $30. These wheels were about $20 as well. Um, there's your budget stuff. If you look at some of the other off-road speed stuff people are buying, I'll use Mr. Talbot as an example because everyone will know who I'm talking about. If you look at that build he's done, it's stretched. It's a stretched... I think it's a stretch Typhon. Look at the cost of that. The motor for that cost more than all of this. So that's why this is a budget. Compare it to what other people have done, uh, and this is going to be a budget build. So I've chosen a, this Truggy for the speed build. And the reason I've chosen it is because it's got a nice wide stance. It looks really nice. I mean, the length may come an issue if we put that much power for it. You do need a bit of um, you do need a bit of length when you've got a lot of power, but. Overall, I think this is one of the nicest looking uh, ZD Racing trucks you can get. This is the roller. It comes in just under $200, I believe. There's a link for this in the description. So it comes as a roller with these massive wheels. <laughs> Look at them next to these that we're putting on it. Uh, they're huge, these. They're not going to be much help for a speed build because there's so much um you lose so much speed and stuff through the size of these they're going to offer decent traction we will use them on something or we might have a play about with it on these anyway but for the speed build i'm using these and these come in about the same size as the um, badlands that you can get i've got some uh, badlands on some proline wheels they're about the same size as these however these are a lot cheaper but yeah, so this is the ZD Racing Pipes 3, and this is the chassis we're going to use. We're just not using the wheels. The motor I've got is a uh, 4068 1900 KV race star, uh, so a nice chunky motor. Now, this is where I've changed things up. We will put this in, but I've ordered the 150 amp one. This is a Surplus Hobby 120 amp uh, ESC. This is rated to 6S. I've asked a few people online. A lot of people don't recommend going over 4S on it. They do a 150 amp, which is only about $5 more. So I'll put this in for now while we're building it, but I am going to switch it to a 150 amp um, ESC. So Surplus Hobby, nice cheap ESC, nice cheap motor, and then everyone's favourite, this 25 kilogram uh, servo. So under the body on this, we've got, like I said, nice wide start. It's a relatively long, slim chassis, uh, which is the other reason I chose it. Nice big, nice big chunky suspension. You can adjust that. It sits relatively low anyway. Uh, centre diff with metal spur. Uh, yeah, dry shots. They look like they've got like a copper paint on. A bit weird. Uh, and lots of nice shiny alloy all over. And there's your chassis underneath. Now I haven't included back woo. Now I haven't included the cost of batteries or the transmitter in this build because I use my own, everyone's got their own preference. If you're looking for a budget build to include batteries, you're not gonna be able to build anything like this. I'm gonna try and keep this in at around $300. Again, yeah, it's not cheap, but when you see people that have got six, seven, $800 rigs out there, building this to be about half the price of what you'd see some of that bigger stuff out there with like the armor chassis and all the uh, electronics on there. So budget build, but it's not gonna be mega cheap. Batteries I will be using, but we'll talk about that nearer the time. I've got two, I've got the, I've got a choice of two. Now I've got the Turner G, these are um, 5,500 milliamp hour, 140C. These are relatively new, these Rapids. Uh, I've not properly tried them yet. And I've got these Gen's Ace uh, bashing series. So these are both 3S, but you can see the size difference. This is 140C, this is 50C. Now these are probably what I'm gonna use when I'm first testing it on 6S, because you could easily get two of them on the chassis. Getting two of these might be a struggle, so we might not be able to use these. And I think straight out at once, and I think when we've built it, I'll probably just use it on a single 4S, just to do a shakedown. Uh, and then the two 3S Gen's Ace. 
uh, to finish it off with because they are nice and compact compared to the Turner G. Anyway, I know you're eager to see this thing running, so I'm gonna get it built and then we're gonna take it out for its first shakedown. What I'm gonna do first though, I have seen a few people, um, especially I saw Vass from Aussie RC Playground, he had one of these chassis and he had to strip all the diffs down because uh, it was a bit crap out of the box. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just pull it apart, check all the diffs, put it back together and then get the motor uh, and all the bits and pieces in. And then the next time you see it, uh, we'll be ready for the first run. Guys, we are done. It is all ready to go. I'm just charging a battery and then we're gonna take it out for a run. Just a couple of things I wanna go over first. So like I've said, we are using the 120 amp ESC and I've got 150 amp on the way. So, so the quick shakedown is gonna be on 4S rather than on 6S, although this ESC is rated to 6S. Uh, we're gonna run it 4S. And because I've got no XT90s, we're using the stock Dean's connector, which is, I don't really like them. Um, they're not very good for high current and stuff like that. So gonna change it up as soon as possible. I wanted to use my Gen's Ace uh, 5000 milliamp hour bashing series, but because they got the XT90s on, we can't use them. So I'm gonna use this um, 4S Overlander and it's only 30C, it's slightly less milliamp hours. And if I'm honest with you, it looks very slightly um, puffed. Not a lot, but uh, I'm just not very confident with it. But we're gonna use that. We're geared very low at the moment. We'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna to have to use this for now and then we'll get some new XT90s on the way and then we'll start playing with the gearing and powering up. So talking about the gearing, it's got the stock 13 tooth pinion now. Um, very, very low geared, and that's because this thing's got their massive wheels as stock, so it needs that low gearing so it doesn't uh, over gear itself. So I think the spur's 56, something like that, so I've ordered a smaller spur, I've ordered a bigger pinion, um, or I've ordered a set of pinions. They are on their way, so they'll be here in a couple of weeks, but for now, we're gonna take it out 1900 kV motor. This isn't going to be fast on this run. This is just a shakedown. These wheels much, much smaller than the stock ones, which stood about this high. So it's going to be pretty slow. It's going to accelerate ridiculously fast, but I think it's a good opportunity just to make sure everything's working, make sure the diffs are fine uh, and it's all good. Dumbo RC transmitter in there. One of my favorites and one of everyone's favorites. Um, so stripped all the diffs apart, we've got 200,000 in the front or there or thereabouts. We got 500,000 in the center and 500,000 in the rear. So we're quite um, rear heavy, which is what I wanted because when you want it to accelerate, you want to get that power down at the back. Otherwise you end up with the front uh, ballooning. I will be changing the center one on the next run and I'll show you what I'm going to stick in there. I've got a new secret formula and I will show you that on the next video. Anyway, we're gonna get the battery charged, we're gonna throw it in, we take it out the front, I will take the speed meter, it's gonna probably only do about 30 mile an hour if that, but it's gonna be fun, we're gonna rip up some of the turf and just have a bit of a blast. Right, let's give this thing a blast. Uh, satellite's already there, so we're gonna, oh, I've already started, and start the GPS going. I'm not expecting much from this with the gear and the wheels, like I've said, but, it's certainly got some nice handling. So only running 4S. So a uh, bit of a shakedown. I reckon 25, 30 mile an hour. which is absolutely fine for my first test. 28 mile an hour, pretty much bang on what I thought it'd be. Uh, let's just run it around a bit. Give it a bit of time, run this battery down. It's a bit of a crap 4S, I'll be honest with you. I'm not too, uh, not really too keen on it. But <laughs> with that wide stance, it just handles so well. Let's come towards us and we'll do a sharp turn. <laughs> 
no, we are not going to the skate park. No, no, no. If you want something just to burn around with, uh, or for the kids, this setup is ideal. You can't roll it and it only does 30 mile an hour. Check out this range on the Dumbo RC, shall we? This is where it goes straight into a tree. Decent range, we are way over there. Might get a bit of a, uh, a speed advantage going down this hill. <laughs> Let's give it a go. See if we can crack 30. It'd help if I started the GPS. Let's try again. I'm gonna go down the hill. We want two mile an hour extra out of it. motor's not too bad yeah you can touch that easily which i'd expect with this gearing the sc handling it all right battery as well all good yeah 30 mile an hour i don't know how some guys i've seen with this get it all up on big get it up big on the screen i don't know how to do that but 30 mile an hour we cracked it right i'm gonna run this battery down uh, and then we'll give it a check afterwards. But everything so far seems fine. And like I've said a few times, I am really impressed with the handling. Oh, I rolled it. First time. We were on a hill though. That's it guys, all done, all finished. That went perfectly, uh, no issues at all. A little bit of diff oil air on the inside, but that's just some residual that was on the uh, uh, the spur there when I put it on, I overfilled the diff very slightly. So other than that, a bit dusty, uh, happy with the first run. We'll get that new pinion, new spur, and the replacement ESC come in. We'll whack a 6S in it, and then let's see what this thing's got in it. But I think for a first run, I think we'll call that a success. Cheers for watching, look out for part two. I will see you next time.